Hi guys! Looking for a reliable and versatile solution to power your outdoor PoE devices? Join us today in this YouTube video as we explore the world of battery power PoE using a 24 volt to 56 volt outdoor PoE injector and powering your network devices even in the most challenging environment. And if you're planning to implement a new technology system but feel overwhelmed by the complexity, we're excited to offer you a complimentary system design consultation tailored to your specific need. Just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below to claim your free consultation. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. Enable the transmission of both power and data through a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power supply. With PoE, devices like wireless access point and IP camera can receive power through Ethernet cable, simplifying the installation and reducing cable clutter. And while standard PoE relies on AC or DC power supply from the main electrical grid, Battery power PoE operate independently of the grid, incorporate rechargeable battery, allowing devices to remain powered even during a power outage or in a remote outdoor location where a traditional power source may not be available, making the battery power PoE system ideal for remote monitoring and security application in challenging environment. Also provide flexibility in installation and can be employed in area without access to conventional power. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and behind me is the battery power PoE network. We're going to power up this PDZ camera using PoE. So how does it work? First, the solar panel here will harness the sunlight and convert it into electricity. Then all the electricity will be stored in a battery. But not only that, we'll also need this 60 watts PoE injector in order to work. This injector has built-in power regulator, a wide input voltage range from 24 volt to 56 volt DC, and in our case, it can convert 24 volt solar power into standard PoE. This injector can inject 60 watts of high power in order to power up our PDZ camera, and it is IP. 67 waterproof rated. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. It has one 1000 megabit per second Ethernet input port and a one 1000 megabit per second PoE RJ45 output port. So when you're selecting the right outdoor PoE injector, you need to consider about the power requirement of the connected devices. Also determine the appropriate voltage and power budget for the application. Not to mention, waterproofing and environmental factors are important too. So not only the 60 watt PoE injector is important, this device here is important as well. This is a 28 solar charge controller. Solar charge controller is a great addition in a solar power system by offering safe voltage regulation and optimal charging efficiency. It helps build a controllable solar charging system with excellent stability to achieve a safer and effective solar power PoE network at remote location. And this one here can support maximum PV input power of 240 watts and 480 watts, and also maximum input voltage of 55 volt, and accept 12 volt and 24 volt battery voltage, and also has a 24 volt power output. So now, let's do the connection together. We're using two solar panel here, and they are connected together. Now I'm going to connect the solar panel to our string box. The string box provides management for the strengths of the solar panels, and also ensures safety and efficient for the operation. It has an on and off button. Make sure it's on off until everything is connected. This is the overload protection. We we'll have the surge protector too, and it's already connected to the ground. Next, I'm going to connect the string box to our charge controller. 
and we have instruction over here that this is the solar panel so we are going to use this cable to connect with the string box just like this okay then we are going to connect to the battery using this cable and as you can see plugging them together very easy however it's really hard to unplug it that's why we'll need this little tool that come with the charge controller just simply plug it in here then you can unplug it easily let's plug it back in so everything is connected over this side and it also has the power output connect with the poe injector and we have the data port and the PoE output port. Let's connect the PoE output port with our PTZ camera. So it can power up our PTZ camera using the battery. Next, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable here. So it's getting power to connect to the data port to our computer. So now we can watch the video footage on our computer. Let's give it a little bit of time to kick in. The image should come up shortly since everything is already connected. Let me make sure it's plugged in tightly. So here we go. The image is on and I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done now. So for outdoor PoE system maintenance, we should regularly check the battery health and capacity. Also ensuring the proper cable management and waterproofing. Last but not least, perform periodic inspection and maintenance for your PoE system. And thank you very much for watching us. We appreciate for your support and can't wait to bring you more in the future. So don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, and you can also check out our previous video on our channel.